Hello, hello, it's Jennifer Sinceri, and I am a Stamping Up Independent Demonstrator, and it is Thursday, April 14th, 2022. I am coming on unannounced to share with you pre-order items, so I thought you would enjoy seeing some new goodies that are going to be available starting May 3rd. As you know, we have a new annual catalog that goes live on May 3rd. So right now there is a last chance product sale with our current annual catalog. So this is the current one and it's expiring May 2nd. Things have already sold out and we're gonna be bringing in this new annual catalog. And so with that, we get five new colors. And so I thought I would share that with you. Uh, before I get started showing you new, new goodies, would you go ahead and if you're watching live, would you please um, comment and let me know that you're here? Uh, would you like my video? Give me a thumbs up or a heart. Hearts are even better. Those help the analytics on the um, videos and let other people see them. If you don't already follow me on Facebook or YouTube, would you please make sure to follow, uh, click the follow button, Stamping with Jennifer Sinceri. And this is my website where you can place orders or you can see um, my events that I have planned. You'll also be able to see my events posted in Facebook under events. And if you are not a demonstrator, and you are placing an order that's under $150, I would really appreciate you using this host code. Uh, if you're a demonstrator, obviously you're gonna to wanna to purchase from yourself. And if your order is $150 or more, you don't wanna use my host code. You want to claim your own host rewards so that you can get free product. Your orders help me to stay active and to continue to uh, play with Stampin' Up! and bring you lots of fun uh, inspiration. Okay, let's get started. Let's talk about in colors. So every year we get five new colors. And this year our new colors are Orchid Oasis, Starry Night, Tahitian Tide, Parakeet Party, and then Sweet Sorbet. All right. And so we're going to have ink pads, re-inkers in those colors. There are stamping blends in all five colors as well. There's also going to be a set of Stampin' Right markers available in those colors. There's cardstock. There's so many goodies. All right, so I'm gonna go through the cardstock. I wanted to show you the cardstock in relation to other colors that we have to kind of give you an idea of what these colors look like, okay? So let me go with the easier ones first, because for some of these, we really don't have a color that is similar, okay? Believe it or not. So here's Parakeet Party, okay? This is Parakeet Party. Um, so I pulled a couple other colors that are current. This is our Granny Apple Green. So you can see how Parakeet is lighter. And this is Pear Pizzazz. And this is Old Olive. So definitely very different. I'll put, put these on the other side so that you can see those. Very different. Granny Apple Green, it's kind of similar, but kind of not. And then I had, um, we had an in color called Lemon Lime Twist. And I still had some paper left over. So I pulled, so you can see this is a discontinued color. We don't have it anymore. And as you can see, Lemon Lime is actually more yellow. This is more green. So that's our new green color that we're going to be adding to the family and it's called parakeet party okay all right now the next color let me push these to the side our next color that's just very there's really nothing like it 
is Sweet Sorbet. And actually, when I got my nails done, I was like, oh, look, my nails kind of match that color. <laughs> so this is Sweet Sorbet. Let me open the um, paper, the little plastic so you can see it a little better without um, a reflection. Okay. It's kind of like a reddish, I, it's not red, but it's not pink. Okay, I'm going to hold it up a little bit closer to see if you guys can see that a little better. All right, so that is Sweet Sorbet. So I was looking for things that were maybe similar. This is our Poppy Parade. It's darker. Um, and also, let's see, let me find our real red so you can see what that looks like. I think I pulled real red, but now I'm looking at it going, is that really real red? Um, let's see. This is real red. It's very dark compared to both of these. That's real red. Okay. And then we've got, this is Melon Mambo. So nothing like that. This is our polished pink. Nothing like it. And... No, I'm sorry. That's Magenta Madness. So this is retired. It just retired. This is polished pink. So it's, it's very similar to Poppy Parade, but it's not. It's Poppy Parade is darker and a little orangier. Okay. So it's really not a pink and it's really not a red. Like this is our real red. That's not even cherry cobbler. This is real red. And real red is very dark. Okay. So that is sweet sorbet. Um, okay. The next color I'm going to share is Tahitian Tide. All right. That's Tahitian Tide. And I was so excited to see that we have a turquoise. So I pulled some page uh, papers similar to that. This is Balmy Blue, and as you can see, very different. This is Pacific Point, much darker. But when you look at this one, you go, oh yeah, it's kind of a turquoise. Well, that's a much lighter turquoise. Um, and then the only other blues that we have, this is Night of Navy, very dark. This one just retired. This is Misty Moonlight. Okay. Um, now, I do have a couple retired colors that you might still have in your stash. This one is Blueberry Bushel. Very different. Very different. Um... This one was Island Indigo, very different than our Tahitian. This one was Dapper Denim. So Tahitian Tide is very light, very much of a turquoise. Okay, there's really, really nothing that we currently have in our color families that is close to it. All right. The... Uh, the Pacific Point, I would call kind of a turquoise blue, but this one is much lighter. And our balmy blue really is very light now compared to Tahitian Tide. Okay. Then, the last two colors are similar to each other. Orchid Oasis and Starry Night which is really surprising. Let me open these that they would um, bring us two colors very similar and yet very different. <clears throat> so let me open these for you. <clears throat> so, 
So one looks more like a blue and one looks more like a purple. And let me hold those up so you can see them. All right. So you look at this one, you go, oh, that's really blue-ish. And then you look at this one, you go, hmm, that's kind of, kind of purple, kind of blue. I'm moving my light so you can see a little bit better here. Okay, but then when I put these with other colors that we have, they look very different. So this is the Orchid Oasis. And then when I put it next to our, our purple colors, very different. This is Gorgeous Grape and Heather Highland, Highland Heather, sorry. Very different. This one has more blue in it. And Blackberry Bliss has more red in it. Um, and then I even pulled um, one of our retired colors. We had Elegant Eggplant, and that's even very different. So this is we have nothing like this color. And when we put our blues next to it, this is Night of Navy, very different. Misty Moonlight, very different. Let me push this up higher so you can see it. Isn't that interesting? So I'm really excited about our new in colors. I, I feel like, gosh, I love these colors. These are going to be so fun to work with. Okay. Very rich, very bright. I would even say very summery, springy and summery. Okay. Are you ready to see some designer series paper? Okay. So this is a six by six pack. We always carry six by six packs of the in colors in DSP. So these are the new in colors and I'll show you the patterns, but let me just separate the colors for you. Okay. So those are the in colors I just showed you. And so then the prints, so you've got these flowers, little baby flowers. Okay. And then on the back side, we have little stripes, like a pinstripe. Okay. And then we've got polka dots. And then on the other side, we have a plaid. Okay. And those are your prints. You have four prints. And you're getting one, two, three, four, five, six. You get eight of each sheet. Okay of each color, I would say. So you get four of the flowers or pinstripes. You get four of the polka dots or the plaid in your pack. So that is the new in color family total of 40 sheets of paper. All right. Then there's also a really fun uh, shimmer paper in the in colors also. So I like a little bit of sparkle, but glitter is always kind of difficult to work with. It gets on everything can kind of be messy. This paper, it doesn't come off. My goodness, I can't get my fingers to work. So you're going to get, does it tell me how many sheets are in here? Let me look. Let me look. 20 pieces. And it's an ombre look. And I'll hold it up so you can see that shimmer goodness oh this is so pretty look at that look at those colors so hopefully the camera is showing that ombre you can see the ombre there 
just gorgeous and it's it doesn't come off on you the glitter doesn't come off it's super nice so you're gonna get four of each color okay there's the parakeet Tahitian turquoise this is lovely gosh that would be so pretty for ocean cards anything with water Look at this and see, look at that. That looks like purple to me. Oops. And then this one. Isn't that pretty? So sparkly. There's such a nice shimmer to this paper. I almost didn't order this. <laughs> I'm so glad I got it. Okay, that is called the in color glimmer paper. And then one of the suites that we were able to pre-order is called the tea boutique. Tea boutique. So do you like teacups and saucers and teapots or do you like flowers and bright colors? So we have a set of note cards and envelopes and you get 20 cards with envelopes, matching envelopes. So let me show you these envelopes. So each one's a little different. So they have a little bit of detailing on the bottom and then in the front. If I fold that, that's what the front of the envelope would look like. Okay. And then that one. I guess the envelopes look more the same. Maybe it's the note cards. No, it's the envelopes. They all have kind of different colored flowers. Pretty. Loving this one. Okay. Oh, look at the checkered on that. That's sweet. A little bit right there. So those are all the envelopes and then your cards. So we've got stripes. These are kind of like, um, they're not quite polka dots, but they're like a little flower, a tiny little baby petite flower on there. Okay. And then these are polka dots. Okay, and this one, it's just like a faint, very subtle, and then checkered. I feel like there's so much that we could do with that. So pretty. And like I said, you get 20 cards and 20 envelopes. That's nice. I like this set. Now it does have coordinating designer series paper for where my scissors go there they are for this suite so you know what as suites go there's always one item number that you can use to order everything in the suite if you just love it all or you can buy things individually so this is called t boutique designer series paper you get 48 sheets six by six and I'm going to show you the papers. Okay, so oh, look at this. Isn't that fun? And then the back side is that print that's on one of the note cards. Okay. And then look at these lemons. Oh, I love these lemons. That is super fun. Cheerful, summery in the back side. Fresh freesia. Love that. Then we have a pretty greenery. That's nice. You can do a lot with that. And the back side, petal pink, I think. That's pretty. And then we have some teacups. This makes me think of the teacup ride at Disneyland. <laughs> and then the checkered. 
Okay. And then we have some really pretty um, fresh freesia flowers on a white background with stripes. I like this one too. Look at that. That's pretty. Such a nice color combination. And then the back side is a pretty green. I'm running out of room. And then we've got a flower print and a pretty petal pink, which I can see brings out that flower. And then we have teapots and I'm going to have to look at the dyes. The dye might cut these out. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look. And then that's on the back side. If the die didn't cut these out, you could fussy cut them. Oh, how cute is this? Look at the envelopes. And then the back side. Okay. And ooh, I like this one too. I think I say that on every one. Look at that. The back side. And then the last one. Cute little flowers. And a pretty gingham. Hi, Shelly. Thanks for commenting. I didn't know if anybody was on. <laughs> this is called the Tea Boutique Designer Series Paper. All right, so it goes with the Tea Boutique Suite, coordinates with the in color note cards. You could use these because, as you see, some of the prints are on the note cards um, that we have. And um, as I shared before, uh, it even coordinates with the glimmer paper, although I don't know that I would use the glimmer paper with this. Um, I wouldn't want to take away from the really cute prints, but we also have the designer series paper that you could pull with this. Okay. Um, so yeah, I really like this paper. I feel like this paper is very cheerful. Even if tea is not your thing, I feel like the backs offer enough, um, enough patterns and colors these would be great get well cards great um encouragement thinking of you birthday mother's day i feel like this there's just so much you could do with this i mean wouldn't this be sweet to make a card and insert a tea bag in it when you mail it or somehow attach the tea bag to the front of your card that would be so cute you know have a Let's share a cup of tea together across the miles. I think that would be a really cute idea. Okay. So that's that. Um, and the, for those of you that are just hopping on, um, I went through the in colors and I did um, a comparison of what we have already in our color families and compared it to these brand new colors. So if you missed that, you can go back and watch that in the replay. It's really interesting to see the in colors in comparison to other colors, retired colors and current colors that we have. Okay. Let's go through a little, since I'm on a paper, um, kick right now, I'll go through the rest of the designer series paper and then I'll show you the embellishments and ribbons that I have, and then I'll show you the bundles and um, stamps that I have, okay? All right, so the next designer series paper pack that I was able to order is called He's the Man. It's a specialty designer series paper, 12 by 12. So I'm really excited about this suite because I struggle with making masculine cards. And... This takes all of that, uh, all of that frustration and struggle out. Um, there's a lot of cute themes in this suite that I feel like 
can work for a lot of different kinds of cards. So the first page, if you're noticing this, this is all like barbecue. So there's barbecue utensils, barbecue sauce. We've got cows, pigs, flames, and a few stars in there. So this is for your guys who love to barbecue. And then on the back side, we have occasion craze stripe which honestly that could be some fall cards as well so if you're not into barbecue or nobody you know barbecues you can use the backside these would make lovely autumn fall cards as well cajun craze is one of my favorite autumn colors and that's really the only time i use it you know is during that time of the year okay the next one are for your guys who kind of are vintage -y that like to dress up. We've got glasses and ties and mustaches and fun shoes and pointing fingers, arrows, bow ties. This is kind of cool. It's got a vintage look to it. So maybe you've got a dapper dressing up kind of guy in your life. This is fun. And then the back side is a black with a Cajun craze thread stitching look design in it. I'm trying to get the light so it's not glaring. There, can you guys see that? So it looks like stitching, but it's not obviously. It's but it's a Cajun craze. Look at it would go with that page also. <clears throat> All right, and then another one, we've got different vehicles, muscle cars, vintage cars, bugs, motorcycles. This is really cute. And then in the background, there's these very faint wheels. And I don't know what that is. Maybe know, a speeding car. I can't tell what that is. So that's fun for your guys who like cars. And the back side is a crumb cake, like... Kind of like a tweed look. Let me move put that one there. I did get the whole suite. Mm -hmm. All right. And then we've got this. I don't know what you would call this. Um, makes me think of socks. <laughs> and then the back side makes me think of a tie. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Oops. Okay. And then I think one of my favorite pieces, look at this one for those of us that like to go camping. So we've got trailers, we've got tents, campfire, little arrows, trees, a moon, stars. This is on a mint macaron background. And then the back side is another brown with black. So there's a lot of different themes here. We've got camping. We've got, you know, I'm thinking of men um, prints, designer prints. We've got cars, barbecue, dressing up, you know, that dapper look to it. So there's a lot of different elements to the suite that we can pull to make different thematic cards. And then there's also in this paper pack, this is why it's specialty. You get two sheets of die cuts. Isn't that cool? And that's something new. Usually we get die cuts or stickers in our memories and more little packs that are about like a five by, well, not five, maybe four by six size. So this is the first time I can recall since I've been a demonstrator where we've had die cuts and a paper pack, like a 12 by 12 paper pack. So, um, We've got, oops, I'm popping them out here. We've got some fire, like medals, trophies, animals, so maybe some hunting tools, cheers, so some beer, beer, best dad award, adventure, nails. You know, maybe you've got one of our tool stamp sets. There's a wrench. Uh, down here, we've got a uh, barbecue, strong and courageous, more barbecuing, 
So lots of different things. Classic can go with the classic car. I really, really like this. There's not a backside because you want the, um, the die cuts. So fun, fun, fun. I feel like this really is an awesome pack of paper. And I think it's going to make masculine card making or masculine, like a masculine, if you needed to do a thematic birthday party for a, um, a gentleman, this would be so fun to make like a bunting banner with it. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm going to go crazy. You could use it for Father's Day celebration. Um, so many, so many possibilities. So that's that paper. It's called He's the Man. He's the Man. All right. I think, I, I think I always say, oh, this is my favorite. Now this one's my favorite. My favorite changes as I pick stuff up. This is called Hues of Happiness. And if you look at the, oopsie, I'm dropping things on the floor. If we look at the cover of the new annual catalog, this is the designer series paper and I'll show it to you. And these are um, flowers that were cut using dyes from this pack of paper, okay? Now I did not order this bundle. I held back, I didn't order the stamp in a dye bundle. Um, and that doesn't mean I won't order it, but there were other things I wanted more and I have a lot of flower sets. So I was being particular, um, but I haven't, I haven't made my final decision yet. I really love it when our dies cut out the paper, but I have to justify, will I be using the stamp set and dies after the paper is no longer available? You know, but I will say, I think one of this, this is probably one of my favorite packs of paper. There's really some gorgeous paper in the new catalog. And I'm a paper addict. I love designer series paper. So look at this. You've got two different color. Gosh, I don't even know what you would call this. Coloring families. We've got yellow throughout, but there here we've got our um, purples on this side with pool party. And then you've got different pinks here on this side. Let me look at our colors that are in this one. We've got Coastal Cabana, Daffodil Delight, Flirty Flamingo, Fresh Freesia, Gorgeous Grape, Granny Apple Green, Mango Melody, Melon Mambo, Mossy Meadow, Night of Navy, and Pool Party. Wait till you see some of these uh, pages. So, I mean, really, you could cut this in half, cut it in half, and get three card bases you know, per side, and they're different color, different coloring groups. I don't know. And then we've got this side. This is, it looks like little cross stitches in a variety of colors. Okay, so there's that. All right, then we've got this page. Gosh, I feel like I'm all thumbs tonight. And so you'll see that there's different strokes of color. There's stripes really here. Darker, lighter, darker, lighter, darker, lighter. And then we've got our purples, darker, lighter. That's pretty cool. And then look at this. Oh, it looks like, looks like paint. Love, love, love. And I see this, okay, you could uh, cut it and have two or three colors on a card. You could do it that way. You could cut it in strips and use textured strips on a card as, you know, part of it. Um, you could cut it um, this way and have a stripe of a different color instead of one color. There's a lot here we could do with this. A lot of different ways you could cut the paper. You're going to have to think about how you want to cut this paper. Be strategic about that. You like that word strategic? Okay, this is the one where I believe the dyes will cut out these flowers. 
And there's your knight in navy. So pretty. And again, we've got stripes. So you could cut it and you've got an ombre look. You could cut it this way where you've got all one color. You could cut it this way where you've got three colors. There's a lot of different things we can do with this. And then the back side, oh, look at that. Knight of Navy with those tiny little baby flowers. And then we've got a Knight of Navy background. I think this is one of my favorites too. I love this. Totally different look. Okay. And then the back side, look at that. Let me move this out of the way. That is scrumptious. And then this one. This, I think, is what they used on the cover of the catalog. So these would be flowers that you could cut out with the dies or just fussy cut them. And then the back side. Oh, my golly gracious. Look at that. I love that. Those colors together are just so yummy. Love that. This could be water. You could do ocean themed cards with this right here. And then look at this side. That's just, you can cut that and you can have flowers. Oh my gosh, this is just amazing. Are you getting excited like I am? And then another one where you can cut out the flowers with the dies. And then the back side, same idea, kind of different direction going um, diagonal. And it looks like brush, spro uh, brush strokes. Slow my tongue down there. Isn't that pretty? So this is called Hues of Happiness. Hues of Happiness. What are you guys thinking? Okay. Next. Next we have... Pretty prints. Now, pretty prints, this was interesting. This paper does not go with a suite. Normally, our designer series paper coordinates with a suite. I'm going to tell you something. In this catalog, and when I do my catalog walkthrough on May 3rd, I'm going to point it out to you. There are a lot of things that are standalone items that don't go with any suite or bundle. They're just standalone. This pack of paper is a standalone is my understanding. I did not see that it coordinated with anything else. All right, so it's called Pretty Prints. We have Bermuda Bay, Blackberry Bliss, Calypso Coral, Coastal Cabana, Evening Evergreen, Gorgeous Grape, Petal Pink, Rich Razzleberry, Shaded Spruce, Soft sea foam, soft succulent, sweet sorbet. Now, when they showed it in the catalog, I only got to see a couple of the colors. So I want to see what the backs of the papers look like. <laughs> All right. And it's very similar to another pack of paper that's in the catalog. Kind of looks like, um, what do they call it? The photo paper that you use with leaves and... Um, flowers. That's a different background. So these two look like the same. Okay, then it's a solid color. Yes. Let me hold that up to you. Isn't that interesting? I think that is so pretty. Now this one, we just have one of these and it's a different print. And in the back. Ooh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at that for like a scrapbook. That would be an amazing scrapbook page. Amazing scrapbook paper. Okay, so then we have this one. Oh, and now I'm noticing like there's... I get it now. Okay, so then we've got a solid... And then you've got this one. The 
back side looks like this. Okay, we've got this one, which the back is that guy. I'll do it this way. We got this one, and the back is just solid. Then you've got this one, which is like, it looks like lilacs, or maybe ferns, maybe ferns, and then like a speckled. And then we've got this one, and on the back side is, again, that gorgeous scrapbook page. This one, and a solid and then another one that looks like that, but it's a little, no, I guess it's the same. And on the back side is a speckled. Each one's a little different. This has got me intrigued on how I'm going to use it. It's called Pretty Prints. I'm liking it. Okay, and then the one that's very similar, this one goes to a suite. It's called Sun Prints. That's what I'm thinking. Of. It's sun paper. It's called sun paper, where you you use leaves and you put it on this paper and it makes um, the imprint of the leaf on the paper. That's what I'm thinking of. I used to do it with my students. Okay. And the colors are... Gray Granite, Night of Navy, Pacific Point, and Starry Sky. Okay, so we've got this one. And then on the back, got my hands to work here, don't want to cooperate, is that. Okay, and then we have this one, very similar to the other pack. And then on the back side is kind of like a cloudy sky. Then we have a speckle, similar to the other one. And on the back is a stripe. And then there's this print, similar to that other pack. And on the back, it's kind of just like there's a very faint script in here. You can barely see it. I'll hold it up if you guys can see very faint script in there. Okay, and then we have a white with navy. Um, Uh-oh, did my camera? There it goes. Okay, I was trying to focus. Sorry about that, guys. And then we've got, those are upside down, I think, some leaves with flowers. And then this one, and then some more like little just sprays of leaves and flowers. This one's really cool too. Okay, that's called sun prints. All right, the other paper that I um, went ahead and ordered in the pre-order. We weren't allowed to get everything. This is just a sample. This is actually a pack of paper that you can get as a hostess. Now we tried this for the first time in the last annual catalog. Um, let me find, so this is our current annual catalog. I can't show you the new one yet. In the back, they show you where the host hostess stuff is. And this is only a host can purchase these items with host rewards or someone who places a very large order, $150 or more. You can use your host rewards to get these items. And they're usually a little bit more discounted than other sets. But down here, we had this pack of paper. It was a 12 by 12 pack. It was called Pattern Parties. It was 48 sheets of 12 by 12 paper. And you got it for free. Using your rewards, it was an $18 of your rewards 
But it's a $30 value of paper because it's 48 sheets of 12 by 12 paper. That's a lot of paper. I loved this set. So they took that same idea and they've put it in the new catalog with a new pack of paper. And it's called Design a Daydream. I'm going to get this out of the, the cellophane. I'm never going to be able to put it back. <laughs> but look at these colors. Okay. Hmm. All right. I'm pulling the ones that are the same out. So you get four of each. Four. This is the same paper just turned over. So you're going to get four of each paper. So you have to decide which side are you going to use, you know. Come on, fingers. Can't seem to get them to cooperate. Everything's kind of sticking. That's pretty. And then there's a stripe. And then this one, I don't know what you call that. It makes me think of a basket. And then look at this one. This is bicycles. And then on the back side. And then we've got some spots. And some little pinwheels. And then, kind of looks like little mosaics. And then, maybe a tiny flower. I don't know. I don't know that it has to be a flower. It could just be dots. And then look at this. This one's fun. Kites. If you buy our kite stamp set before it retires, it would go really cute with this paper. Some flowers, some more, like more of like a zebra stripe. And then we've got some leaves. And this kind of looks like a tile to me. It's very pretty. And then some vines. And some more stripes. I like that not everything is flowers. I really like that. And then some, what are these called? They're the Parisian flower, fleur de something or other. <laughs> and then, I'm going to have to move this over, birds. That's it. There's a lot to this pack. There's a lot of different designs here. It's not all flowers, so that's fun. So this is um, $18 of host rewards. It's a $30 value that you can get it for free with your host rewards. This is only available to somebody who places an order of $150 or more or who hosts a party. Okay? All right. That was all the paper that I had in my pre-order. So now let's move on to um, some embellishments and ribbons, okay? So one of the things I got, these are called ever Everescent Elements. I wanna open this without spilling it. So these are gonna be used for shaker cards. They're like beads but without holes. And there's different sizes in here. That's cool. Okay. And I think these come in different colors too. There's like 2,300 pieces in there. You don't want to spill this on the floor. That would be really bad. Really bad. Um, then this comes with the He's the Man and they're called rustic metallic adhesive back dots. So it's all one color. We have something 
in our annual catalog that's like this, but it comes in three colors. Hmm. Look right now. And they just pulled one of the colors. Where is it? Or maybe, you know what, it might have been a carryover from the last mini catalog is what I'm thinking. Yeah, it can't, it was with that, mm, the meadowy sweet. And there was like a rust, a copper, and something else. And so these, it's all one color. Hi, Linda. Thanks for hopping on, friend. So that's going to be great for those masculine cards. Okay. Now, you know those opal rounds that I love? They're opalescent. Um, we've got them in the new in colors. Kind of. Yeah. I don't know what that is because that's not one of our in colors. These are the old, last year's in colors. That's what these are. So we've got Evening Evergreen, Soft Sea Foam, Polished Pink, Fresh Freesia. And what's the last one? I can't think. Doesn't tell me. So those are pretty. Very glittery, sparkly. I like these. Then we have the new in colors. And these are more of like a matte look to them. I'm going to open it so you can see. And it's ombre, too. Let's see if I can do this without. Look at that. Which is funny, because that, to me, does not match the color. It kind of does. I mean, you can tell it's in the color family. But they look lighter to me. But it's an ombre. This one's the darkest. This one's the lightest on all of them. That's right. Pale papaya. Thank you, Shelly. That looks a little more yellowy. But, yeah, I guess it could. <laughs> all right. Well, let me put these back in so they don't pop off and I lose them. So those are... They're just called matte decorative dots. Okay. And then the other one that I was able to get was the glossy dots assortment. Those are like, ooh, prismatic there. And it doesn't tell us the colors. That's gorgeous grape. Maybe melon mambo. Mm, I don't know that that's crushed curry. And then um, Balmy Blue, I'm thinking. Okay, and Large, Medium, Small. Okay, so those are fun. And then um, Ribbons. Okay, so I got the set of new in colors, Ribbons. They're Metallic Woven Ribbon. These are really, really pretty. Let's see if I can get this off. They do. I could look it up, but I'm kind of being lazy right now. I didn't want to go look it up. So it's really thin. This is going to make small bows. Or what would be really cool is to just kind of do, you know, something like this where you just gather it and, and then just place something on top of it. So you have those very loose, fluid loopings and not do a bow. But it's, um, these are also going to fray. Yes, Linda. And you could do that on purpose. So you could fray it on purpose. And that's going to be fun to play with also. Um, so, very metallic-y. Can you guys see the shimmer in that? So we've got one for each of the brand new colors. And again... This does not look like the Sweet Sorbet when you hold it up to the cardstock and the ink. It looks more pink, but I like it. 
I definitely like it. It's like a lighter version of it. Okay, so that's our in color metallic ribbons. Look at that yummy Tahitian Tide. Oh my gosh, you guys. And see how this looks purple? But when you hold it up to gorgeous scrape, it's not purple. It's like a purple blue. So pretty. And I really feel like this could complement with our Knight of Navy. But when you look at that color in comparison to Knight and Navy, totally different. Okay. Now let's talk stamps, okay? I did get one embossing folder that was available in the pre-order. It came with something else. I ended up not getting the stamps that went with it, but it's called the Fern 3D embossing folder. And this goes with that sun print paper that I showed you, but gosh, it's a fern. So hello, that can work with anything, anything with flowers, foliage, leaves, so I'm loving this, okay? It's gonna be $9. Um, then we've got some stamps that are not part of a bundle, all right? So one of them is called Limited Edition, and this would go with our Angel Policy. So if you sell your own handmade cards, this has several that you could use for that. Um, Stampin' Up, and it has the copyright, Stampin' Up. Made with love with the copyright, Stampin' Up. Handcrafted from the heart with the copyright. A one-of-a-kind creation with the copyright. Now, here's the thing. If you don't want it to say copyright Stampin' Up, you can use a Post-it note on the stamp. When you stamp these, you just mask that off with washi tape or a Post-it note and then you get the image without it. So if you wanted to put this in a card without it saying that part, you could do that. You could totally do that. So I guess don't be, I guess, intimidated with the copyrights. If you, you know, feel like, well, I don't sell my cards. I don't need that. This is still really cute for those of us that love to make handmade cards. You don't have to have the copyright on there. Okay. All right, another one is called Wild and Sweet. Now, I had to get this because when my husband and I were dating, he used to always call himself, he was confused like a baby raccoon. Not that I know that baby raccoons are confused, but he used to always say that. And so we kind of have this we teasing joke between us that he's a confused baby raccoon sometimes. And so look at that. Isn't he just precious? They can be troublemakers, though, too. Then we got a cute little koala bear and a panda bear. So this is really cute for your animal lovers. This can make cute masculine cards also. Just anybody, really, who loves animals. And then this is a hostess stamp set. I had to get it, you guys. You'll know why when I hold it up, right? You're going to know what sold me. What sold me? The cats. There's two chairs with cats on them, and then there's one with a dog. I loved this. So this is a hostess stamp set. You can only use host rewards with it. It's $13 of host rewards. You're going to get nine uh, stamps in this. It's so stinking cute. I love it. Just uh, sitting here thinking of you. You feel like home to me. You relish the day. Wish you were here. Missing you. Hi, friend. Yep, super cute. Look at that cat. There's Percy. Oh, he's a good cutie pie. Okay, now the bundles. All right, so one of the bundles, oh, and I just realized, where's my freebie stamp set that I got? I'll have to find it because that's new too. So Bottled Happiness. This is a punch bundle. Sorry, I'm being uh, distracted because I'm looking for my other stamp set that I got when I attended um, on stage. And now I, I have to find it. So we've got a bottle punch. Let's see if you can see that. Okay. So we can 
cut these out with cardstock. We can cut our stamp out with it. You also can make shaker cards with it. So this is the new shaker card um, dome. They got rid of the mason jar domes. Yes, the punch is still available. It'll carry over, but the domes are not. So we've got little bottle domes. So that's where you can put some of those, these guys in here to make it look like water in here with your flowers sticking out. Oh, so adorable. Okay. So adorable. So we've got, let's get into the spirit, sending a little message, sending cheer, wine, not. So you could go with the drinking element of this. I'll probably go more with the flower element to it. Um, overflowing with happiness. And it's a two-step stamp. So you're going to stamp this in one color and then you would stamp this in another color and it really pops. That's going to be fun to play with. Okay. Another stamp set is called Sending Smiles. So the reason why I like this was because of this huge sending. And you can say sending smiles across the miles. Sending all the good luck your way. Sending sunshine to brighten your day. Like all the good luck your way. That could be St. Patrick's Day. You can make a St. Patrick's Day card with that. Sending love and big hugs. Sending birthday wishes. Sending a note of thanks. Sending a card to say hello. Sending comfort and strength. I like that too. And then you've got these fun wildflowers. So there's dyes that go with this. Sending dyes. Dyes. Sending dyes. I just, I guess they're called sending dyes. All right. Well, let's take a peek. Ooh, there's a lot of pieces there. How many pieces are there? 14. Goodness golly. All right. What is going to be really cool about this? Look, you've got two sendings. So this is your shadow. And then this is the word. Ooh, that's going to be so much fun. Then we've got two little um, die cuts for sentiments. We've got some bonus flowers. And then these cut out all the pieces from here. Fun, fun. Alrighty. Next, this is the cup of tea. So remember I showed you the tea designer series paper and the note cards that went with it. This coordinates with that, or they've got that in that suite. Obviously, you don't have to buy the paper if you didn't care for it. You can just get the stamp set. I love the little lemon wedge here. Sorry, I'm kind of out of the camera. The love the lemon wedge. Here's a tea bag that you can stamp sentiments onto. We've got two different teacups. You can put foliage in the teacups. Thank you for your friendship. Take care of yourself. Let's get together soon. Thank you. It's time for tea. Sweet. I miss you. I just can't thank you enough. Enjoy. And then you could have a little gift tag that says to or from. Remember when I was talking about it would be so cute to actually have a real tea bag on that card. That would be a really cute element. Like when you open it, maybe the tea bag is there or maybe somehow you have the tea bag attached to your tea cup. Or you could do a peekaboo card with the tea bag. I think there's so much we could do with this. Maybe somebody is under the weather and you want to send them a healing cup of tea. So cute. And then the dies. If I can get my hands to work. So we've got a bonus tea cup. It looks like, oh, actually, if I stamp that, it cuts the flowers out. Fun. Some bonus hearts, little hearts. You get one, two, two tea bags, two leaves. 
a lemon outline and then the insides of the lemon. That's fun. This will be fun to play with. Oh, actually, there's another tea bag right there. It's bigger. Okay. You don't know how many times, ladies, I have looked at my catalog. Every time I look at the catalog, I, I see something I didn't notice the first time. So I am going to be sitting down and writing lots of notes in my catalog so that when I do my catalog walk through with you on May 3rd, I can share all these little tidbits, things that's taken me like 10 times to notice and I can save you the trip. Okay, he's all that. So you remember the paper that we all loved. These are the stamps that go with it. To the man who does everything. And there's little tools there, hammers and wrenches or screwdrivers, you know, wrenches. Happy birthday to a classic. Together for the long haul. Every day with you is another adventure. Holy smokes, you're amazing. Wishing you a happy Father's Day. Love this guy. And then we have number one, and we've got a little button and a little, little corner hugger. That's cute. And then the dies are more shape based. So you've got some sentiment pieces and then you've got these fun little designs. So yeah, you could actually use these with any stamp set. You can use this one. You can use this one. You can use this one with any stamp set. So that's nice. It's like bonus. All right. Next, trying to go a little faster. I Wisteria Wishes. Love this one. I almost didn't get it. And then I saw a card and I was like, okay, I have to get it. Doggone it. Don't you hate that? I hate that. So here's the thing. You can make Wisteria with it or turn it upside down. What do those look like to you? They look like trees. These could be Christmas trees. They could be pine trees. So there's something to think about. Faith is about trusting. I love that. Happiness grows within. Um, to a friend who's all kinds of wonderful. I love that. Hang in there with your little hanging wisteria. Even when you don't understand. Oh, I like that too. This is a really good set for... Sending comfort to someone who might be going through a difficult situation. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at these dies. Oh! All right, look at this. So you've got bonus dies here that when you cut these out, you've got two pieces to layer on top of each other. So like Gorgeous Grape, Highland Heather, oh, two-toned. Love. Then we've got bonus leaves. I'm thinking that's some type of branch. I don't know. And then these cut out those blossoms or trees. And then these cut out your stems. And when I look at this, it looks like corn to me. Doesn't that look like corn? That looks like corn to me. Like corn. Um, these are the, and then you can put little ears of corn in there. I don't know. It looks like corn to me. That's what I saw when I saw that. <laughs> all right that's going to be a beautiful set to play with okay last but not least botanical layers botanical layers so there is a stamp set in our current annual catalog plentiful plant no what is it what is it called it's in a suite plentiful pant plants not pants plants trying to find it that I don't have yet, but it made me think of this set when I saw it, I'm trying to find it and I'll show it to you. I love it because I have snake plants in my house. That's this plant right here. And, um, I just, they're easy to grow. I love them. Um, I have a lot of succulents in my backyard, um, because in our Sacramento heat, they don't die, which, hey, love that. Okay, why am I not finding it? Arr. 
Sorry, guys. I'm trying to find it, but it's not cooperating. Okay. I'm not going to waste your time. I'll find it later and show it to you. But this set would coordinate with it. Okay. It's that plant paper. And then there's the stamps that go with it. Anyway, I just thought this was really cute. There's in that other stamp set, there's a pot. So these could go into the pot also. Um, but this is a bundle and it's a different kind of bundle. It doesn't have dies and it doesn't have a punch. It has a pack of vellum paper that goes with it. This is new. So the bundle is only $26. The stamp set's $23. If you get the bundle for three more dollars, you get a pack of vellum paper. So obviously you buy it one time and then when you use up your vellum, then you can buy more vellum. This comes with 60 pieces and some have designs on them and some are blank. So this is a new thing. Get my fingers to work. This is a new thing because we haven't done something like this before. I was like, really? That's a bundle? Okay. But pretty cool. For th uh, three more dollars, you get this. So I love this piece. You could color. You could put color on this. You could lay it on top of colored cardstock. There's so much fun stuff we can do with this. Like, so cool. So stinking cool. Okay, and then we've got polka dots. We have hills, maybe. I don't know. Hills. You can put a sentiment in there. And then you have a whole bunch of blank ones. And I, I use vellum all the time, you guys. So, hey, for three extra dollars, I was like, sure. Look at that. So there's 60 pieces in here. And it's already cut for you. Hello. This is awesome. And I can't get it back in the little thing. So we're just going to put it right there. Maybe. There you go. So that's called botanical layers. So cool. All right, that is my pre-order, you guys. Goodness, I uh, talked for quite a while. So thanks for joining me tonight. I hope you had fun seeing new stuff. Um, obviously, this is not everything that's new. Um, somewhere, I have it written down how many new stamp sets there are, how many new bundles there are, how many new punches, how many new embossing folders. There's a lot in this catalog that's new. When you saw the retiring list, we saw that there was a lot we were getting rid of. There's a lot of new. Now, a lot of people always complain, oh, Stamping Up always has too many flowers. Actually, there are flower stamps, but there are a lot of other things in this catalog that are new that are not flowers. So those people that are complaining and hating on the flowers, which personally, I love flowers. I'm just don't buy every flower stamp set. Don't hate on the flowers. But second, there's more than flowers. There's going to be animals. There's guy stuff. Um, lots of honestly awesome sentiment stamp sets. Awesome stamp uh, sentiments in this new catalog. I've got several on my wish list. There's a really, really cute get well stamp set with a little box of tissues and a little like mug of soup. It's so cute. There's so much to look forward to in this new catalog. So this is just a taste. It's a teaser of what you can look forward to. All right. And it's not all flowers. Honestly, I promise. But I love the flowers. Don't hate the flowers. Okay. So I hope you had fun tonight. What do you guys think about the new in colors? Shoot me a comment. Did you like the new in colors? What do you guys think? Um, I'm kind of curious. I am going to offer a product share. So um, that's something that I do for my customers. Uh, I do a paper product share, an embellishment product share, a ribbon product share. So for those of you that love it all, but don't have the budget to buy everything, um, I purchase all the designer series paper and I cut it into fourths. So I'm looking for groups of four people. And as we, you know, get more than four, then I add to that. Um, so I would obviously buy more. So 
if you're interested in that, I'm going to be posting information of that soon. I need to figure out the cost that it would be for you. So basically, like I said, I buy everything and then I split it by four. So you're only paying a quarter of what it would cost. So it saves you money, but you get a sample of everything. So that's really nice for those of you <clears throat> interested. And I'll be posting information about that on my Facebook page. Tomorrow night, I am going to play with Grassy Grove. Dun, 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 dun. And I've got some awesome cards planned with this. There are amazing dies that go with this, you guys. Amazing. I think you're going to love it. Even if you're not into deer, don't worry. There's going to be some really cool landscape cards with this. You're going to love it. So I will see you tomorrow at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And until then, have a great evening, you guys. Thanks for joining me. Um, make sure that you liked the video or loved the video. Share with your friends. And if you don't already follow me on Facebook or YouTube, make sure that you click that button. Thanks, guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.